up everybody welcome to rambo for radio i am your host jen t twitter and instagram at jen t five two three what's good motherfuckers yeah (laughs) 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 that's about all i can do is laugh <laughs> this shit is so bad. friends uh, uh, i hope you had a wonderful week <laughs> my week of course begins with the news of losing two more employees at work you know <laughs> i mean one of them was a planned exit but the other one whoa <laughs> like it caught me off guard for show for show uh but at the end of the day i mean if it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be no point in trying to force it. <laughs> uh, if it ain't working out, you know, you know where the door's at. <laughs> uh, but just so we're clear, it is virtually impossible to get fired from my job. So, you know, you are you have to be a special, special, special individual to get shit canned at my work. <laughs> Uh, but I wish this individual the best. I uh, I know that this person has the the ability to do great things, and maybe this particular position at work was just holding them back. This individual needed a nice little uh, push off the the cliff, and you know you're gonna. You're going to fall, you're going to get cut, you're going to hit some scrapes and bumps and bruises, a couple of rocks, maybe a few branches, uh, meet some bears. <laughs> but eventually you'll find your fucking way. This isn't the end of the road. It might be end of the end of this chapter for this particular workspace, but I think this will be a good thing for this individual to find something that they would like to do and that they're passionate about and how they can make money from doing that. And speaking of passion and making money, let me tell you about some motherfucking stonks. Oatly, Oatly Milk, O-A-T-L-E-Y, Oatly Milk went public May 21st. And if I could give y'all some advice about Oatly Milk, Is that we get nasty, rude-ass customers calling us, trying to fight us when we don't have fucking Oatly Milk. Oatly Milk is so fucking popular that the company rations out its milk to stores, okay? We're only allowed to get like two, three cases a week. And that's gone in five minutes, y'all, okay? This is the motherfucking milk that vegans or vegetarians like to drink i don't fucking know what's up maybe me and other people like it too i don't know i don't care i don't drink milk so whatever but the point is is these people are gonna make some motherfucking money so i'm gonna need you to do yourself a favor and not invest in robin hood because they are a bunch of gob shite <laughs> fuck off robin hood you fucking shysters. I need you to get a Cash App account. I need you to get a TD Ameritrade account. I need you to get a Fidelity account. I need you to get some fucking acorns. And I need you to fucking invest in fucking Oatly. Okay? You will thank me later. This is the hottest plant-based milk on the planet right now. Okay? Oatly. O-A-T-L-E-Y. Invest. 
do it now. You'll thank me later. Don't be one of these fuckos that's like, Whoa? and then when the fucking thing shoots off to the moon, you go, oh, Rambo, I should have listened. <laughs> You're too late, son. You're too late. You got to jump on now, okay? It went public May 21st at 20 bucks a share. I jumped in. At 25, they hit a high today. Today's Friday at 28. So, hello, we're already making money. Booyah, let's fucking go. So, uh, I would politely uh, sway you if I could to invest in oatly milk and watch your money go through the roof. The only thing that could send this company to the depths of hell is if oat milk causes cancer or some shit. <laughs> uh, but until then, let's make some motherfucking money. Jeez. Oh, pr- oh, I pray to God oat milk does not, c- not only does it not cause cancer, I hope everybody is on their best behavior. Nobody like is a kid toucher or anything at this company because those are the only two reasons it could fail. Okay. This company is going to be here por vida. Okay. For life. Okay. Oatly Milk, they're going to blow the fuck up in some giant ass company like fucking Nestle or Unilever or fucking Johnson and Johnson or fucking, uh, I don't know, some big ass company is going to buy Oatly out. Okay. And, And when they do, when they do, you will have some serious monies in your fucking bank. You're welcome. It's time for customers of the week. Whew. This week, I had to talk to an old, an old, an old, <laughs> an old ass dude about uh, how much protein he should have in a day. How can I help you, sir? Well, I, I want to know how much protein I can have in a day. I said, well, sir, that'll just depend on what your goals are. What are your goals? Are you trying to gain weight? Are you trying to lose weight? Well. Well, I'm just trying to find out how much protein I can have in a day. I said, well, that's great. I'll be happy to help you with that, sir. I can assist you with a specific number. But first, you have to tell me what your plans are. Well, well, that's what I'm here to ask you about. I can't make a plan unless I ask an expert. <sighs> Sir, I can't give you a specific number or a direction until you tell me what your plans are. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to maintain the weight you're at now? Do you want to bulk up? Do you want to be a part of the Swole Patrol for summer? Uh, or are you trying to get one of those body outies and be slim or whatever? What, what What's going on? Come on, my guy. I need more information. I can't do this. Well, all right, uh, uh, I'm trying to put on some muscle. So I put whey protein and creatine. <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> help, help, help me, Jesus, help. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, sir. Well, uh, okay, you've definitely got the tools for some sort of bulking cycle to happen. <laughs> but you need to know how much you're going to do. Well, yeah, so I'm trying to put on muscle. How much protein can I have? And I said, okay, sir, uh, what's your weight? What? What's your weight? Well, my weight right now, I don't like it. I said, no, sir, what is your goal weight? You have to have a goal weight. That way, that will tell me how much protein we can calculate for you. Well, all right, all right. Uh, I am uh, 140 pounds now, but I want to be 180 pounds. I said, okay, sir. So you have to figure if you're 140 pounds now, sir, that you're probably consuming somewhere between 50 to 75 grams of protein in a day. Okay. So if you want to be 180 pounds, that you would need to add some more 
protein to that stack. So instead of your 70 to 80 grams of protein you're having now, why don't we add another 50 to 60 grams on top of that? Okay, but, uh, you know, you're going to have to drink lots of water because if you don't, it's going to mess up your kidneys, bruh. So uh, an influx of protein and being a a member of our senior community is uh, not easy on your kidneys. So we're just going to have to go nice and slow. We're going to look for clean, nice, natural sources of protein. Okay, listen up. I want to be 180 pounds by September. This is what I do. I take my protein powder, my creatine, and I mix them. I said, oh, okay, well, that's okay. But then, then, I, I need to know how much protein you can have in an hour. I was like, uh, in an hour? I was like, we we're talking about a whole day, a 24-hour period, sir. So you're going to be, you know, having 20 to 30 grams per meal. You're going to break that up in a 24-hour in a period. 24-hour period? Uh-huh. I've, I've been doing protein. I pour, I take a scoop of my protein. I put it in the Ensure. I have Ensure protein and i put the other protein powder in the ensure and then i put creatine in there and i wash it down with a big glass of milk i mix them all together how much protein can i absorb in an hour (laughs) i was like (laughs) slow down terminator Wait a minute. (laughs) You're in sure, which has 30 grams of protein. You pour that into a blender with (laughs) Lord knows how much milk is in there. Then you pour actual milk in there. And then you put a scoop of protein powder in there. And then you put creatine in there. (laughs) Like, uh, <laughs> oh, I was dying. I was like, sir, how are you upright? <laughs> how are you not constantly shitting your pants in the bathroom? <laughs> Well, I mix them all together, but I'm not getting any results. What's happening? I've been 140 pounds my whole life. (laughs) I was like, uh, okay, sir. Well, uh, let's start by not mixing all of that together because you don't absorb that. You're just wasting (laughs) this protein. Wasting? Wasting my money? I was like, no, your body is just eliminating it out (laughs) through your waste. You need to settle down with all that protein. You got to break that all up. So, uh, what uh, what, what can I mix the insure with and the creatine and the protein and the milk with? I said, no, 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 we're going to stop. All that. We're just going to start with the basics. How about a can of tuna? How about uh, uh, a little bit of uh, uh, a turkey? What? Turkey. What? Turkey. Oh, I eat turbily. <laughs> turbily meat, tuna, and uh, chicken. I don't like red meat. Turbily. <laughs> Turbly, the fucking this guy said, fucking turbly. Ah, I almost fell out. I was like, turbly, what the fuck is turbly? And I went, oh, turkey meat. Gotcha. Turbly, tuna, and chicken, and a little bit of fish. No red meat. I was like, okay, sir. Well. Uh, (laughs) let's start with the basics you're not gonna mix turkey 
tuna, fish, and chicken all in one meal, right? You're going to break it up. Well, of course. <laughs> I'm like, okay, but that's what you're doing with your little shake you got going on. <laughs> I said, you need to break that up. Oh, hey, what? I said, yes, you need to break it up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't have that all at one time. I'm just like imagining his kid. He's just going, just like fucking exploding. <laughs> Dust is just fucking milk, ensure creatine and protein powder. <laughs> That's why he jokes like this. <laughs> Holy shit. I was like, sir, you can't seriously mix all that. That's just too much. Got to dial that back. Start with your turbily, <laughs> your tuner, <laughs> and keep it simple. If, in between meals, if you want to add those things, by all means, go for it. But you're not going to mix them all at once. That's just too much for your body. Oh, that's what I'm asking you. You're the expert. I'm asking you. I was like, okay. And I'm telling you, bruh, this ain't going to work out well. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you. I'm going to go to your little meat section and buy some more terribly meat. <laughs> I was like, okay, have a good one, sir. <laughs> terribly. T- t- turkey, sir. Terribly. <laughs> some current events. Some current events. Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather. Hopefully this is the last podcast, the last piece of media that you will ever have to hear another motherfucking word about these two arseholes. I could give two fucks about Turbally, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Mayweather. I just could not give a shit. I put the fight on. I did not pay for it. I had it on mute. And I was doing other things that make me happy. And occasionally I would glance up and look at two grown ass men who claim to be straight and are hugging each other. <laughs> What the fuck is this? I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Floyd Mayweather was paid $30 million before he even got into the ring. And all I could think about was like, wow. Uh, I deserve that $30 million. I could use that $30 million for stonks. Uh, Somebody else in the world could use that $30 million. I mean, what a complete waste. Okay, the Paul brothers, as much as I don't like them... Sadly, they've earned their way. They've put in the time on YouTube building an audience. Whoop the fucking whoop. Who gives a shit? I just, I don't care. I, I just don't fucking care. Uh, good on you. Get, make your money. Do what you got to do. I just feel like maybe there's some other people who maybe deserve it more. Just saying. <laughs> uh, but uh, God bless the Paul brothers. Go do your thing. It's not my cup of tea. Go make money. You found your niche. And apparently it's scamming people out of money. <laughs> I do not care. On the other hand, don't like to scam people out of money, which is why my show is free. It is a free steaming pile of crap, but it is my free steaming pile of crap that I give to you. Um, and that is that. But maybe someday somebody will be dumb enough or maybe smart enough to give me $30 million to do this. And that would be awesome. This show would still be free, but I would have $30 million in my pocket, which would be a wonderful day. <laughs> oh, man. Well, of course, it is Pride Month. And, and, and uh, if, you, if you like gay stuff, then this is the time for you to turn the volume up to 11. Let's get soaking wet. That's right, it is Gay Pride Month And supposedly we are supposed to be happy about being gay This is the month to be happy about being a gay person Or a member of the LGBTQ uh, mafia, if you will And uh, this week Sophie Turner confirms that she is a bisexual And you know, I went Oh, mammy Mucho gusto. I was like, oh shit. Dreams do come true. Sophie Turner, 
who's got the body on him. He's now a part of the gay mafia. But there was one silly snag as I got terribly excited and went, I've got a chat with Sophie Turner. Yeah, buddy. Um, I realized that she's a mom and she's married to one of the Jonas Brothers. What the f***? Yo, hey, listen. If you is gay... Uh, uh, what, what are you doing? Getting us lesbots all riled up and you're just not even available, okay? What is this? You fucking t- Fuck. Shit. You goddamn tease. You're married to a man, but you like ladies. Hmm. <laughs> go off, you fucking prick. You can't take it anymore. All these... All these... People who look straight... Who claim to be bisexual? God bless you, but you're married to a man. How does that help? <laughs> that does not help the gay cause. You understand? <laughs> oh yes, I've got a touch of the gay, but I is married to a man. Damn it! <laughs> there goes my shot. <laughs> Zero to sixty to gay, and then back to straight again. <laughs> I did like that she put on her profile that she said that uh, time is straight and neither is she. Um, but, uh, you know, what, what, I mean, what the hell, bitch? You, you're married to a man. That doesn't seem very gay to me. <laughs> Where are the hot ass ladies who like vagina? Can you please move to the right? Okay. Everyone else claiming to be gay, but are married to men stay to the left okay <laughs> uh i appreciate you i celebrate your your bisexuality or your pots and pans and your pansexual but uh i ain't looking for all the lesbots on the right go over to the right okay shit god shit is so fucking hard i can't even begin to tell you if you're a long time listener if you're a long time listener then obviously you know the woes of dating, and then you know the woes of gay dating from your dear friend Rambobra. It is horrific. Okay, I was chatting with some friends the other day, and they go, "What's going on? What, why are you still single? What? What? What is the problem? What is happening? You are a rad person. You're awesome. Whoopty fucking whoop." Um, and I said, "This is why I'm single right here. I've got men on dating apps claiming." To be women, grown ass men claiming to be women so that they can date a lesbian because all of my settings are set to I wear, I only want to see women. I only want to talk to gay ladies. Do not bother me with this stuff, okay? I don't want it. Nah, okay? So now, What men are doing, and this is not even a trans thing. This is straight men on their profile claiming to be a woman so that way they can talk to lesbians on dating apps. Fuck. You fucking rat. You fucking goofy stupido. Fuck. What the hell's the matter with you, man? Why are you wasting my time and your time? What the fuck is this? Clearly, I have checked the box that says I only want to see gay ladies. I am only interested in gay women. Okay? Please, computer, for the love of Christ, do not show me men. Do not show me straight men. Please. Okay? What am I getting? I am getting Straight men who are putting in their profile that they are a lady so that they can see lesbians, that they can message lesbians. Fuck off! Fuck off! The frustration, I mean, it literally makes me mental, okay? Obviously, I know that there are trans men who are transitioning to female. God bless you. This ain't you. This is full on straight men who have no interest in changing to women. These are just straight men switching the button on the computer just so they can talk to lesbots. 
I'm 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 gay shaking right now. I'm gay shaking. <laughs> I just I, if this podcast was video, you would see my fucking Arthur fist forming because this makes me so mad. This shit makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. Do you understand me? This shit makes me so fucking mad. This ain't funny, y'all. This is my fucking life. This is other gay ladies' lives. Why are you out here playing games? Nobody's going to take your fucking stupid ass seriously. When you're a straight man, checking that you are a woman just so you can talk to gay ladies. Okay? And again, just for clarity, I am not talking about transgender women, okay? I'm not talking about male to female peeps. Y'all are in the clear, okay? Now, some of y'all may need a little bit of work. (laughs) Some of y'all, I can't even fucking tell. (laughs) Uh, Bless y'all. But these are just flat out straight men trying to fuck the system. And I hate this. I hate this with a passion. It infuriates me. To no end. I cannot. It's making my blood pressure rise and I and I need to stop. Okay. This is supposed to be fun and I'm getting upset. I'm getting riled the fuck up. Um, th- these are the kind of dudes that I don't even want to punch in the face. They don't deserve a body shot. This is a straight uppercut to the dick. Okay. Uh, to the dick. An uppercut to the fucking dick. Okay. Why would you do this? You oh, fucking waste of time. time, time, time. Both parties, yourself and the last bots, okay? If we like you, we'll find you. We'll, t- we'll call you, all right, bruh? This ain't what we're looking for. Clearly, lesbians are looking for other lesbians, okay? Hell, maybe they're looking for male to female trans ladies who identify as lesbians. Bless y'all. That ain't for me, but it's for some. But f- fucking flat out straight dudes? Just checking the gay lady box? <sighs> I've, 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 I've fucking had it. I can't. I can't with this shit. Can't! I can't fucking had it. And most of these profiles, it's like, it is, it is now officially uncool to want monogamy. And to and to not be a unicorn, <laughs> this is this is crazy. My only options are to get into a threesome with somebody and they man, or to be in a relationship where I'm like fucking third, fourth, or fifth in line. I gotta entertain this fucking poly. Non monogamous bullshit F- fuckers. God, jackass. F- fucking goofy, goofy shit, man. This is so wild out here. Uh, God bless y'all. I'm not trying to shame y'all, but god damn it, you're not leaving the rest of us who would like. <laughs> monogamous non fucking poly relationship non coupled with other coupled relationship okay <sighs> see you can hear it you can hear me, me chest me heart is beating hard I gotta stop I can't take this shit this is what this is I, 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 how can I have success when this is my option, clubs are opening up in less than four fucking days, four or five fucking days, okay? Clubs are going to be open, and it's like, okay, I am definitely not having luck online, so now I got to take my ass to the club? I'm for goddamn fucking 40, okay? What 40-year-old should be at a nightclub unless they fucking work there or own it? I got to be there because that's the only way I can meet somebody. (sighs) This is some bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit. 
<sighs> I'm excited and not excited to go to the club because you know I, I love dancing because that's the gay thing to do. You're supposed to love to dance. It's, it's, it's part of the program DNA. But god damn it, I'm gonna be at a club next to 18 year olds, 18 to 21. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is cool. Oh yeah, ah <laughs> oh, Christ! I would say the only one that I would actually be excited to work at would probably be the the lesbian bar that's uh, fucking two hours away from my house. Shit. I would actually entertain working there, but it's too expensive to live in the community around it. So I would actually have to live in a house with five other fucking people to survive. <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to that. I've, I've, I've been spoiled. I've gone accustomed to living in a giant house alone. <laughs> oh, God. Help. <laughs> help! I need somebody. <laughs> I need some help, y'all. I'm not sure. I I think I need medical attention because uh, um, I I uh, I don't know what else to do. Here we are. We're gonna be back at clubs. The first two weeks ago, I was fucking excited about just getting out, dancing again. Fuck these dating apps. And now that I'm less than days away for the club to be open, now I'm like, oh, fuck. You're going to be that mannish lady who's damn near 40 fucking years old at a nightclub trying to pick up chicks? Like that. <laughs> What a poor sod I am. <laughs> Shit could be worse. I could be this fucking story I heard on uh, TikTok, which me and TikTok were fucking through. We got beef. It's over. Um, but uh, TikTok, I heard through the grapevine of a fucking lady who got cut by a key card at a hotel and her dog licked the cut. And she had to get her fucking damn near her whole body amputated because of fucking sepsis. <laughs> oh my god! And listening to her cry, I'm like, oh shit. Let me just undo all the bitching I just did for the last 15 minutes because this lady, she's married. Her husband takes care of her, but... She said she doesn't know what to do with her life. She's miserable. Some days she's in pain. Some days she just feels like she's trapped because she's got no fucking limbs anymore. She lost it all from a fucking cut from a hotel key card and the goddamn dog licked it. And she's a fucking amputee. And so the husband does everything for her. Brush her teeth, comb her hair, feed her the whole fucking night. Still loves her. I appreciate that dedication. But goddamn, I couldn't even begin to imagine. Here I am complaining about going to the club, trying to pick up chicks. And this bitch has no fucking arms or legs. Oh my God. What a fucking life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some other news going on currently. Uh, we finally caught the son of a bitch who shot a six-year-old boy in a road rage incident. Uh, they finally caught this piece of shit, Marcus Anthony, whatever the fuck your name is, and your girlfriend, Winnie Lee. <laughs> Something wrong, we too low. We fucking caught these cocksuckers who have been hiding out in fucking Costa Mesa. These bitch ass bitches got into a road rage incident and this lady flipped them off. So this piece of shit Marcus, 24 years old, decided it would be a good idea to shoot back at this lady's car and killed her six year old son. 
I can't even begin to imagine the pain that this woman is going to feel for the rest of her life, the guilt, the shame that both of these individuals are going to feel, unless this guy's a psychopath, which he kind of is for shooting at this lady's car after she got flipped off. Um, it reminded me of a time where I used to get out of the car and want to box people on the road, and I am so glad that I am past that. Doesn't mean I don't think about it, but I am so glad I am past that point in my life because what the fuck are you going to accomplish when you get out and that person has a gun and they shoot you? Case in point here. I tell my mom because she's the road rage queen. Tell her to settle down because you don't know what schizo or weirdo is going to shoot at you. Uh, I I don't recommend it. I just let them flip you off. Let them do whatever they fucking got to do. And either drive away from them or hit the brakes and let them fucking fly by. Uh, You just got to let that shit slide. You know, it's I know it's in uh, some of our DNAs to be like, oh, yeah, motherfucker, let's go. But uh, it's not up to us. You just got to let the universe take care of that. And uh, thank fucking Christ. Some good people out there found this scumbag. These two scumbags. They're hiding out. And quite frankly, they were being surveilled and they were driving around the same area that they shot at this lady. So um, they had been cruising around town for some time thinking that they got away with it. And guess what, bitch? Book them, Dano. You're fucking going to jail. And I cannot wait for this piece of shit, Marcus and Winnie, to get the fucking Wonder Bread bag treatment in jail. Arriva Dirty cocksuckers. Deuces. You killed the kid, you're out of here. Some TikTok challenges going on. Scooping pre-workout powders without drinking water. And a few people are having some bad reactions. Like one 20-year-old had a heart attack. Jesus Christ. You're supposed to add these things to water if you take them. I don't like taking pre-workout powders because they make you feel cracked out. Um... At least me, I notice it makes me very aggro, especially the one that I took called Bull Knox. Holy shit. I was ready to rip this bitch heads off. <laughs> Do not give me the Bull Knox, okay? I'm saying this. I'm warning you. Peace and love. Now, peace and love. Peace and love. This bitch came up in the store one day. Went behind an employee counter to get a product out. And I nearly ripped her head off. (laughs) I was like, you trying to steal that fam? Uh Uh-uh, not today. (laughs) Holy shit. I was like, oh, oh, bitch. Today is the day. (laughs) On the bull knocks. I was like, what the fuck was that? Even my other coworker was like... Jen, 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 don't, Jen, Jen. <laughs> that shit, I was like, it was a whole nother dimension, and I did not like that. I could have ended up in the jail. What's your excuse? Why did you murder this lady? I'm like, the bull knocks. <laughs> so, God damn it! please, for the love of Christ, it says on the package, add it to water and drink it. Don't be a jackass. And speaking of being a jackass, so uh i got banned from tiktok y'all it's over (laughs) i uh i guess posted made one too many violations obviously uh i was reposting stuff i talk about on here and apparently that's not appropriate since there's lots of kids on tiktok but i never told no kids to follow me motherfuckers so i'm trying to figure out if it was me talking about fucking sharding uh or I was talking about episode 200, the Shartacular, and apparently you're not supposed to talk about shits on TikTok, or I'm thinking the video that did it was, uh, and for anybody who's interested, I do have the video that potentially got me kicked off TikTok. I posted it on Instagram. It was a Russian couple, it's a man and a woman, they're on a balcony and they're fighting. It's like some kind of domestic dispute. And then the fucking balcony just breaks and they fall off the balcony. (laughs) 
listen, nobody got fucking hurt. Nobody died. Okay, they might have got fucking hurt, but nobody fucking died, TikTok. I seen today on the news that they got some beheading videos on TikTok that they ain't catching, but they gonna ban your dear host Ram Oprah. Motherfucker, I'm trying to make TikTok fun. Y'all got people beheading people on there and you're not taking them down. Y'all full of shit. Okay? This is some bitch ass bitchness that I don't want any part of no more. So fucks you, TikTok. It was a good run. I love TikTok because I could get fucking eyes. I had eyes on there. I had I had a video go to a million views, god damn it. And I thought, oh for sure, I'm gonna hit the big time. And then you censored me, you son of a bitch. You fucking you fucking <laughs> <laughs> What's the first one? Something wrong? We too low? <laughs> you fucking damn it! God, <sighs> it was a match made in heaven until we got to hell. Uh, son of a bitch! Arriva Dutch, you cocksucker TikTok. It was fun, but not really. Obviously, you are siphoning my information. I noticed one day it was like, why aren't you talking to your friends in your contacts list? And it showed me all of these people. Who were my friends through my phone book who were on TikTok that I was not talking to? I'm like, don't tell me what to do. And secondly, stay out, stay out of my contacts. This is fucking weird. But everybody knows TikTok is siphoning information and sending it to China. So whatever. It's probably for the best that I'm not on there. One less thing stealing my information. <laughs> oh, shit. Back to Pride. Pride is obviously not just all about companies changing their logo to the to the gay flag and trying to sell trying to get gay dollars <laughs> it seems that way but it's really not about that pride actually was a a time that people come together and celebrate uh, their liberation and freedom of their sexuality and loving who they want to love and this is all due to the Stonewall riots at the Stonewall Inn that was mafia owned. That's right. The gays, the gay mafia. We were the gays and the mafia. We were hand in hand. You understand? Even though the mafia doesn't necessarily like the gays. They's got some gay guys in there. They won't tell you that, but I know it. I just know it. Come on. If one in 10 people are, I mean, come on. You just got to count. The 11th member of the mafia is a gay dude. <laughs> Uh, don't fucking whack me, okay? <laughs> but what I'm saying is the Stonewall Inn, where the the, the uh, pride took place. It was a fucking riot, okay? This was about a time, June 28th, 1969, at the Stonewall Inn. A time in Greenwich Village, Manhattan, where during the 60s, policemen, and maybe some police women, would. Oh, damn, my fucking stomach is making all kinds of noise. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm intermittent fasting. <laughs> That's how I get these pounds down. We'll get to that in a minute. So, 1969. Obviously, the 50s and the 60s, most importantly. It was a thing that police, it was allowed, that policemen were allowed to arrest gay people for being gay, for holding hands, the whole nine, the whole shebang. It was illegal to be gay. They were, gay people were seen as being less than, and would even go to lengths where they would uh, resort to little sting operations where they would they would pretend to be gay just to catch gay people and acts so they could arrest them beat them verbally abuse them give them hell and so it came to a point in 1969 where people had had a fucking enough they were tired of the police tired of the oppression from other people who were gay haters who couldn't stand gay people and wanted to see them not do well, not succeed, wanted to gay bash them. 
Want gay people to die Want gay people to burn in hell The whole fucking night June 28th, 1969 A lot of gay men and women Stepped up to the plate Displayed courage and adversity Against the police Against the norms And said, nah Love is love We can love whoever we want You can't arrest us for being gay? Fucks you, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're in a gay part of town. Greenwich Village is a gay area. And that's pretty much where they retreated to because any place else, they would get their ass beat or arrested or killed. It was some scary ass shit to be gay in the fucking 19... 19 anything prior to 1969. Holy shit. You had to be one brave ass motherfucker. Can you imagine what it's like to be gay and a person of color? Oh, oh. A lot of people had enough of this bullshit. A lot of gay folks said, fuck y'all. We're here to stay. You ain't gonna do shit. Bring it the fuck on. Name high boogal <laughs> for my TikTok fam. <laughs> Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> I probably fucked it up. Uh, I have to go back and listen to some more Mandarin again. Uh, damn. What was it? Name high boogal. Maybe that's it. <laughs> the point is, motherfuckers, is that the police got violent. And then gay people had to fight the fuck back and say, nah, I appreciate the courage, the bravery, and adversity, and the chance that those men and women took at that moment in time and stood up to the motherfucking man and said, nah, we're here, we're clear. We ain't going nowhere. And they fight, they fought fucking back, all right? This took days. This was a days thing, man. Uh, until until the city stepped in and was like, oh shit, the gays, they're too powerful, let them be. Uh, obviously, there were still instances every now and then, and there still are instances every now and then. Um, still to this day, 2021, June 2021, there are still people that are made in the factory, that are born, that are birthed into a home where they are taught to hate gay people. And I quite frankly wish that that model would be discontinued in the home. Um, obviously, if you don't like gay people, then hey, you shouldn't be listening to this podcast. Because <laughs> always hella gay. Um, but most importantly, you know, you have the right to not like gay people by all means. But what you don't have the right to do is be physically violent, wishing death upon gay people. Just horrendous things. Just be a good fucking human, okay? God damn it. You don't like gay people? Cool. That's your deal. Do you, boo-boo? You're allowed to not like things and like things. But it's when you go out of your way to gay bash be violent or shame gay individuals nah that's that's not cool that's not cool i have never gone up to a straight person and said no that's not cool but i have had plenty plenty of straight people and some closeted gay people tell me that i am wrong I'm going to burn in hell, that I'm a dyke, that I'm a lesbian, I'm a queer, oh, it's gay, in a negative context, gay bashed, or at least tried to anyway, <laughs> go on ahead, try and gay bash me, motherfucker, <laughs> this will not end well for you, <laughs> I will just say sir Because it's never a lady I've never been gay bashed By other ladies I've had them call me words And vile things And say things 
Um, but I've never been gay bashed by lady. I've always had men, men, straight men trying to do that. And and what I've found is I, it's got to be some weird, like they're intimidated by me or they think that I'm going to steal their woman. Sir, I'm not going to steal your woman. That is her choice to leave you and come to me. Okay, you understand? <laughs> I have nothing to do with that. Okay. When a woman wants something, she wants something and that's it. That's that. Trust me. I wish I could change a thousand women, women's minds, if you will. Women's, women's, whatever the fuck. It's probably why I don't have a woman because I don't know what to say there. But the point is, uh, I've got nothing to do with that. Okay. That's between you and your individual. But somehow it's some weird thing where they just kind of go out of their way. Gay bash. Not all men, but some men. Just have a thing where they just hate gay people and they want to specifically inflict harm upon gay people. Um, It breaks my heart when I hear about the Matthew Shepard story. Um, If you don't know about that, please uh, read about that or YouTube Matthew Shepard. My man was gay bashed to death um, simply because he thought somebody at the bar was into him. And maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, but... Uh, I do know that Matthew did not deserve to be gay bashed to death. And when I say gay bashed to death, my man was uh, tied up to a post in the middle of a field in Wyoming, a barbed wire post, and was just beaten to death. Because he was gay. Some some really warped shit, man. That's some really warped shit. Obviously, if you as a straight man and you get hit on by a gay guy, just say, hey, I'm not into that. It's cool. Do your thing, but that's not for me. That's real easy than, than fucking murdering somebody. Damn. I hope uh, whoever listens to this, maybe you're not a fan of gay people. Um, maybe you are. I hope that there is some sort of understanding that can be reached in some weird, bizarre way. <laughs> you hearing my voice, that there can be some sort of understanding that um, 99.9% gay people mean no harm. Obviously, that there are bad gay people, but they're not out bashing straight people. Um, they might verbally bash straight people, <laughs> but that's based out of fear because of, you know, our 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 history where we come from and us not being accepted by straight people or society so there is a wall built up there is a defense and and how uh some gay people are just only on team gay and they don't like straight people that's fine i am a gay person who loves everyone i i i don't uh see the issue i only have an issue with you when you want to try and cross the line or inflict some sort of violence or try and gay bash me or or make it a a racial thing then obviously i'm I'm probably gonna have to fucking fight you but you have to touch me first i you have to touch me first well that's not true because this one time at a bar this one time at a bar this guy was so fucking drunk and he started doing the old pokey thing to my fucking chest and i fucking almost blew a gasket But instead, I behaved myself and talked my way out of it. There was a time where the old me, the old young road dog, would have been like, I'm going to fucking beat your ass. (laughs) Um, But I didn't. And I'm so proud. I just remind myself every time I want to fight somebody in the street, I'm like, nope, you're better than that person. You are better than that person. They try to gay bash you. Obviously, you can defend yourself, but get away. Because I know when the cops come and they're putting the handcuffs on me like, oh, you should have known better. You know martial arts. You're trained. You should have known better. Like, yes, I know how to defend myself. I will do just enough to defend myself and get out there. I cannot harm this individual, even though their intent is to harm me in the first place. God, fucking sucks. Maybe I should just walk around with a stack of consent forms. Like if you're going to try and gay bash me, sign this and then I get to bash you back. (laughs) 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 Gay. (laughs) 
damn. <laughs> but the point is, I want maybe some individuals who are not aware of what's going on, what pride's all about. It's not about companies changing their gay flag <laughs> and getting gay dollars. It's really all about the people who died, who fought hard for the right for every single gay person that came after them in 1960 fucking nine to have the right to be free and love who they want to love. That's what it's about. It's not about fucking Starbucks making a rainbow color Starbucks lady with the coffee cups. Because at the end of June, when it's July, that flag goes away. It's back to business. Okay? They don't give a fuck about your gay dollars. <laughs> uh, I'm just being real. It's a nice gesture. It's a thought. I mean, I'm probably going to buy me some gay Nikes real soon. But <laughs> um, it's a nice gesture. But you're not educating people on why pride is important. And that's why I'm here. Your dear host. Your mannish lady gay friend is here to tell you that pride is about the people. Pride is about um, celebrating being free and loving who you want to love. Before I go, before I turn this thing off, because I have done enough. I need to end this very quickly. It is super late. I had to wait extra specially late because my neighbor is doing fuck construction on his house and there's... Pounding and smashing and drilling and sawing all day into the night. So in the middle of the night where everyone is sleeping, I podcast. So before I go, I just want to tell you about a podcast that I think that you will enjoy. If you are in dire need of news, quality news, without the corporate media bullshit that comes with it, I need y'all to check out Breaking Points with Crystal Bell and Sagar and Jetty. They are an independent newscast giving you just the information how news used to be. And that's what I love. Information. I love learning. They're just giving you the information with pretty much an unbiased view. Okay, they're just giving you the facts. You do what you want with it. Breaking Points. Crystal Bell and Saga and Jetty. Um, they are the number one podcast right now or number three podcast in the world. They're like right there knocking on Joe Rogan's door. And they just started like two weeks ago. So I'm telling y'all, if you want some news without the corporate bullshit, these guys don't answer to nobody. It's publicly funded. They just go by donations from listeners. So if you like it, by all means, please donate. That will help the show stay on. And of course, they'll be able to provide quality news for your ear holes. And that's what I love. I don't want to hear any corporate. I don't want to hear a news story that's because what your corporate donor wants you to tell me. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Okay? I just want to hear the fucking news, what's going on in the world, so I can be a better citizen. I can be fully prepared. And I would wish... For all of you who listen to the show, to do the same. All right. UFC picks this week. Israel Adesanya versus Marvin Vittori 2. First pick I have for you. Carlos Felipe. Luigi Venrami. Chase Hooper. Terrence McKinney. Actually, I might switch that. I'm taking a chance. Fuck it. Terrence McKinney it is. Panini Kennard. Wait. Oh, I fucked that up. It's Panny. Panny Kenzard. Musa <laughs> uh, Ilolev. Joanna Calderwood. Darren the Dentist Stewart. Drew Doba. Paul Joubert Craig. Blau, remember the name Muhammad. Leon Edwards. Fuck the Diaz brothers. You heard me. I've never liked these. Fuck them. Fuck the Diaz brothers. Leon Edwards. Let's see. Oh boy. I would like Brendan Morano, but I'm going to pick Figgy, Figgy, Figgy. Can't you see? He's just too damn good. 
And lastly, Israel, the last style bender out of Sanya for the win. Those are my motherfucking UFC picks. Bet with me, bet against me. Who cares? Let's watch a motherfucking fight. Yeah. I must end the show. I must go. But before I go, please like, share, and subscribe to Ramble Radio, Radio RambleBarradio.com. Uh, true sales and life slayers. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If not, think of a number in your head and go listen to that. I'm sure it is just as bad as this one. <laughs> and for those of you who are dying to know, my weight, my new weight is... 235, motherfuckers! <laughs> That's right, cocksuckers. I'm gonna get this fucking done, okay? I'm gonna get that body yada 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 I'm gonna fucking get this body yada, okay? And then instead of women telling me no, now I'm telling you no. Fuck you! Jog off. Now I'm gonna tell you to go take a piss. When I rip off my shirt at the club and there's abs under there, bitch. <laughs> I can't believe it's fucking crazy, okay? I might have abs by September 17th, 2021. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I can promise you this. Not only will I not be 275 pounds September 17th, 2021, I will be probably even lighter than I am now. Yeah, buddy! That's right. I can't believe it. I'm in fucking shock. I'm going to get this weight down. It's going to happen. I'm going to get finally going to get body out But most importantly, I'm going to be healthy. I won't have to worry about the diabetes that haunts me at night because I know I am an overweight Af- African-American. Scared in the night. Look, watching out for the diet. Uh, beat us. I will beat the diabetes. I will beat the cancer. I will beat the cholesterol. I will beat the high blood pressure. All of the things that plague African American people. And I will be a super healthy, long living ass individual. Okay, maybe not long living, but definitely a healthy ass individual. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait. And for the haters, go take a piss. Bitch. And uh, for my supporters, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you who have been supporting me through this weight loss journey. I'm sure for the long, uh, the long people who've been in here for the long haul, the long haul, the long haul, the long haul, who have known me since I was hella fat, super skinny from school and fat again, and then really fat. Um, I will be that no more. And for those of you who have just joined, well, welcome to the party. Uh, Your host is about to be damn near as skinny as a ghost. (laughs) I've been waiting to say that corny line for a while. Anywho, the most important thing is uh, health is wealth. And I'm seeing some other friends like my man Steven. He's dropping the pounds. My man Rich dropping the pounds. Everybody's getting healthy. I'm loving it. We can get on the healthy bandwagon because we've just got to be health. If you is not healthy, then you can't have a long, healthy life. It's just the facts. And on that note, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend. I will chat with you all next week. Inshallah. God willing. Until next time. Much love and many blessings. Peace. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck, 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 fu